I don't know where in throughout all this that somehow Goku got stronger. I don't know where he got stronger in Boo's head, where he got stronger in like there's no way that he jumped from like jumped from like being able to, you know, he beat down Majin Buu, gets completely stomped by Boo tanks, but out of nowhere, he is stronger than base Vegito or Boo Han just because he no. I th that's not how this works. <laughs> I know it's been a minute, but I've been seeing the comments about this whole Boo Han versus Kid Boo situation, and I've been thinking, ah, oh, it's little, little jokes here and there, but nah, y'all serious? <laughs> like, y'all don't play about this Dragon Ball Z stuff. Someone's going, to, like, someone's going to get taken out if we don't discuss this. So I brought in my boy MJ XTV. Shout out to my boy. Say what's up to the people. Yo, what's up, man? We've been teasing the people for a minute now, you know, about this. You know, Kid Boo versus Buhan stuff. So I'm happy to finally be on this video to discuss that with you. Yeah, man, life's been lifing, but we finally here. That's all that matters. Before we even continue, hit that like button, subscribe. Like, I got to do my YouTuber thing, right? I got to shoot every shot I can take, man, all right? Don't get mad at me. Just, you know, try to hit a comment. Helps with the algorithm. All right, all right I've asked enough. I asked enough. But <laughs> they don't play, man. They got that two minute retention. Um, but we got to talk about. <laughs> Kid Boo versus. So I think the biggest thing that we got to talk about this is that the manga and anime version of the power scaling are different, but I also think there is some plot induced stupidity in the anime that you just got to admit is dumb and we can't take it seriously. It's like the same thing in Dragon Ball Super where you have different writers in the episode where Vegeta uses his final explosion, they say he's out of stamina. But then the very next episode this man goes blue evolved like nothing happened then the whole point of the episode is that he gets beat down by Jiren. now he can't go anymore so there is some stuff <laughs> that happens that you got to be like you know what we, that's just that contradicts the overall story so do you want do you want to go first with like discussing kid boo versus well like how you want to go about this man well i guess we should probably tackle this the way we did our other videos so all right, uh, let's go with the history of Boo real quick. A quick lesson throughout the arc. So, Fat Boo or Majin Boo is born, right? right? He takes out all of the Earth Fighters or the Dragon Team, Z Fighters, whatever you want to call them. And he transforms multiple times, expelling his evil on his Kami status. <laughs> and then he has to fight that version. That version wins. I guess he wasn't on his Kami status. Yep. <laughs> He didn't prevail in that fight. <laughs> so he gets taken over, turns into Super Boo again, kills our heroes, takes them out, does one of the coolest attacks, like I think in Dragon Ball history on the planet, right? The human extinction, and then yeah. human extinction, right? And then he runs the gauntlet. He ends up, you know, absorbing Go Tinks, turning into Boo Tinks. He ends up absorbing Gohan, turning into uh, Boo Han. He ends up losing all the people that he absorbed, transforming back into Super Boo for a split second, and then he loses Fat Boo. So then he transforms from, I guess, what is that muscle yeah, version yeah, it, called? It's, it's like the version of at least the anime adds more context to it. That that's the form that he had when he absorbed like the muscle bound Kai, and then yeah. he reverts back down to Kid Boo, which this is where you know video games, nostalgia, and also anime quotes <laughs> go sicko mode in this mug. So. Well, before we get into all these controversial statements, um, like, what's your theory on why the anime did that? Do you feel like they needed to hype up the Goku Kid Buu oh, fight? Oh yeah, for like, sure. Do you feel like, like, like final, like they needed him to be the final villain, so they threw whatever they could at him, right, to make yeah. him feel greater than everything beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so. um, again, I'm sorry to bring up Super when I'm talking about Z, but I feel like it works because Toei's way of doing things was Super GT in. Z are the same thing. It's like you had the end of Z be Kid Buu, you had the end of GT be Omega Shinron, you had the end of Super so far be Jiren. And they all have a common denominator is that they hype up Goku and all those last fights to be like the strongest fighter out there. And then you have the final villain despite certain... Uh, with GT it works fine. I think with Jiren it works fine, except now with Beerus. Uh, you know what's going on with Beerus, but <laughs> and they're also like re trying to walk back fusions being stronger than Ultra, but to get back on Z, they it kind of goes back, and I feel like I agree with Totally Not Mark, is that 
they was pretty much hyping up Vegito, Gohan, all these people being stronger. But this is like, nah, man, this is the final run for Goku and Vegeta. We need to somehow make Goku look like he doesn't need those people. So you're hyping up Kid Buu when it makes no sense. So let's, let's, let's go through this, man. So I feel like we got to talk about how a lot of people think that original Fat Buu before he becomes Good Buu is just as strong as Kid Buu. Some people kind of believe in that. You, you can interpret it that way because you can say that Kid Buu hasn't really, or uh, Majin Buu hasn't really been the same since he lost his evil side, which took up more of his strength. But I don't really want to dive into that because I don't know how you can even interpret that really because either way, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, what I think could have beat Kid Buu, dominated the hell out of that Majin Buu. So, whatever how you look at it, if you really do believe that Majin yeah. Buu was just as strong as Kid Buu, then that adds more to my argument, which, hey, hey. <laughs> but then you... If, if you look at it in a vacuum, Kid Buu just beat Fat Buu's ass like throughout that whole fight they had. Yeah, but that was, that was minor. like you know, regular good boo who was weakened. You know what I mean? Like, really, if, uh, right, yeah. right. But I was also going to say to add on to your point to stop bringing up uh, Super, I'm about to do it right here again. <laughs> we also kind of find out that Kid Boo and Fat Boo, more specifically Good Boo as well, are all kind of different in Super because we find more lore about them having God Key. Right. One of them has <laughs> the Grand Kaioshin in them. So it's just kind of like being able to use the power and all that. Yeah, so, that adds all to very the Very interesting as to the hype but just for the people listening we're gonna try and keep super out of this and not focus on kid boo having god key and good boo possibly being able to use the magic of the grand kai we're just gonna focus on what we saw in yeah yeah yeah. we're not gonna go into because if Majin boo could tap into the grand and he stomps but it, the whole thing is like kid boo <laughs> didn't know how to use his god key which apparently is bigger than even super saiyan believe all vegeta's from the moral art but yeah um yeah, so like we go into like Super Boo, right? And Super Boo, at least from my interpretation, you could, someone could correct me if I'm wrong. Super Boo was just as strong as Gotenks. He pretty much could have won, but he since when Gohan turned ultimate and started sandbagging the fight because he was waiting for ultimate Gohan. I think Super Boo was stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I think a lot of people agree with that, even though he was getting beat down. But we know how this Majin Boo stuff works. He He's a character that you can slice, dash, and he'll always come back. Um... But, I had no problem with that. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have, you know, Ultimate Gohan beat down Super Buu. And, yeah, pretty much in both the manga and anime, that happened. Super Buu regularly should lose to Ultimate Gohan. Um, then we have Buu, Exor Buu tanks. He, well, in the manga, it was complete stomp. Go, Ult, Gohan didn't stand a chance. In the anime, Gohan was able to compete a little bit, get healed, then didn't lose. And this is where we have some major differences because in a lot of video games and everything like that, they like to interpret Super Saiyan 3 Goku being the same level, just having weaker stamina or whatever, than Ultimate Gohan. But in the manga, we didn't get to see this fight. But in the anime, we did. Super Saiyan 3 Goku fights boot tanks while Gohan's trying to look for the earring. And Goku gets humiliated pretty much. Like, he doesn't really land a hit. Yeah, he's able to tank some hits and... By the time the Boo Tanks is about to finish him off, that's when he loses the fusion of tanks and he just becomes Boo Piccolo. So, just off that, Boo Tanks is stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. <laughs> it just yeah. is what it is there. And we, we go back to the both cannons working where Go Gohan gets absorbed and Goku literally says, I don't stand a chance. And we had the whole Vegito situation and Boo Han, at least in the anime's run, is interpreted that he is stronger than base Vegito because he doesn't feel like he can beat him. And he also can be applied to the manga because Vegito goes Super Saiyan immediately. So you can say they're like close, but Vegito's complete stomp. And we all know Vegito, especially Super Saiyan Vegito, is the strongest in Z. But then we go to... Also to uh, jump back to Goku real quick, right, right. try to cut you no off. Problem. With Goku wanting to throw the earring to either Dende or Mr. Satan... He wouldn't do that if he really thought he could beat Buhan. So he, when he said he didn't stand a chance, like he meant that. Yep. This isn't like, a, oh, Gohan has more power than me. I'll let him take over the fight. This isn't, oh, I'll put the the fate of the world into Goten and Trunks' hands because I won't be around no longer. Yep. He has a life. Yep. The halo's gone. He's at full power. Yep. But he was still about to throw the earring to fuse with someone else who could possibly make him weaker. Yep. He would not have done that if he thought... 
for if he he was really scared of Buons, is what I'm saying. Yep. So. Yeah, like, and they even add more context to that. It's like because I remember I did this video when I responded to six. It's like Bu, uh, Goku was still kind of weird in this art because he did this whole like I'm hoping for the next generation. But like when Goku knows that he doesn't have the power advantage, he is going for the kill because there's no one else left and. Even when Goku and Vegeta fought Buhan in the anime, it was pretty clear it didn't stand a chance. Yeah, Goku didn't go Super Saiyan 3, but we just saw that Super Saiyan 3 Goku didn't stand a chance against Boo Tanks. He didn't, he was not going to stand a chance against Buhan. But then we have a, a big deviation because Vegeta gets exhorted on purpose to, to save the other Z fighters. But in the anime, we have this filler where you have Goku and Vegeta beat down clones of Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and Piccolo, and they're all seemingly said, they're literally stated to be just as strong as the real thing. And we have Super Saiyan Goku beat Ultimate Gohan, like, low-key casually. Then you have Vegeta, who, mind you, couldn't even beat Ultimate Go. I mean, I couldn't even beat Fat Boo, but he somehow able to beat Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Piccolo and just Super Saiyan. I call BS. Like, some stuff... You can like, oh, it's anime is different. Now this one, cause it doesn't work because in both canons, Goku says we need to fuse to beat Super Buu later on. <laughs> All right. It has already shown yeah. that Ultimate Gohan is stronger than Super Buu. So yeah, no, that's yeah. plot, that's plot due to st stupidity. Cause that both happens in the manga and anime. <laughs> so that's one flaw to a lot of people's argument that Super Buu is like weaker than Kid Buu. Eh, doesn't really work for me there. But then we move on to all the crazy statements because we, we uh, I think Goku and Vegeta both state that Go that um, that Buff Boo is stronger than Kid, uh, stronger than Super Boo. The state where he absorbed the other, the, the Buff Supreme Kai. His power is raising, but then they say his power yeah, kind of getting scared of him. Yeah, yeah. Then they say his yeah. power has kind of calmed down when he was in, in Kid Boo state. And most of the statements is that Kid Boo is the most dangerous because he's not thinking like like Super Boo or like Buhan. You know, when he gets more of a human like intellect, he is just pure destruction. But then when we finally get to Goku versus Kid Boo in the manga, Goku just goes straight Super Saiyan three. We give Vegeta with his statement saying that you're the best, whatever. whatever. But in the anime, Goku fights Kid Boo in Super Saiyan two. Then powers up the Super Saiyan three. Then we have the statement where. This boo is beyond all the other boos until now. Now, again, <laughs> I I don't know how many times I can repeat this. I don't know where in throughout all this that somehow Goku got stronger. I don't know where he got stronger in Boo's head, where he got stronger in like there's no way that he jumped from like jumped from like being able to, you know, he beat down Majin Boo, gets completely stomped by Boo tanks, but out of nowhere, he is stronger than base Vegito or Boo Han. Just because he no, I th that's not how this works. Like, I don't know. Like people are trying to use Dragon Ball Super's logic where Goku is getting stronger despite not really having a life threatening Zenkai. He's just fighting, getting stronger. That doesn't really work here, man. And if you want to go with that logic, like where <laughs> that doesn't it doesn't work for Vegeta though. Cause oh yeah, for sure. If you, if if you really want to try and say they're on their tournament power slash Goku Black stuff, where like just by Goku fighting bootings for like two seconds was enough to raise him to bootings level okay sure i'll give you that but but vegeta never fought bootings yep. he came back <laughs> from the dead and then in, in super Saiyan, he's able to throw hands with uh buhan and buhan is just like messing around with him but people want to use logic that oh goku and vegeta are doing better than like other set characters and i think people have to remember these are like filler moments yep. to fill in from the manga in super a lot of that type of stuff happens but a lot of people like to say it's a toy show so what? they'll go blue for no reason but in this instance i think toei thought it would be cooler to have goku and vegeta fight as a tag team versus like them running away from buhan while they argue whoever who's gonna fuse. Well, we gotta mention you know, the so we gotta mention the difference <laughs> between Z and Super is that Super, in my opinion, is the main canon because we literally saw Torotaro had to retcon his own Gohan to fit in with the superhero slash anime, where Gohan literally had no bang and he low key using Ultimate in base. I know a superhero. He is turning Super Saiyan and he's using Ultimate as a transformation. <laughs> Even like so, yeah. it's different. But when you have the anime. Uh, like we literally saw Vegeta be able to fight Super Saiyan 3 Goat Tanks and Piccolo at the same time in Super Saiyan and somehow win. 
and he hasn't trained, he hasn't done nothing. He just got his body, I, I, I think his body's gonna get erased, but he, he didn't do anything since becoming an angel. And also, it's heavily implied, both in the manga and anime, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku, in his angel state when he fought Majin Buu, which you can argue Majin Buu before he lost his evil side was just as strong as Kid Buu, he could have beat Kid Buu. And yeah. Kid Buu beat down Vegeta in Super Saiyan 2, and low-key Good Buu, who should be weaker than that Majin Buu, was doing better than that Vegeta. And Majin Buu hasn't done nothing, sit, well, Good Buu hasn't done nothing but be absorbed. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah, nah, I think people are just glazing Kid Buu because, one, nostalgia, how strong he is in the games, and also people are just using anime stuff when it contradicts the overall story. When you have these certain statements, these over-the-top statements, it just reminds me of in Super where you had Jiren be stated before he even showed 80% of his power that him like barely like bouncing off the spear ball before he even used both hands was already the strongest they ever faced. Which was like, that doesn't really work because then you have like other people make Jiren power up and now it makes it seem like Vegito and Fusomasu are so much weaker than like just Blue Goku. When now when we look back at everything, do we, we all know that was BS. So yeah, that's my opinion. I think you can hype up Kid Buu because of how crazy he is that he can probably be stronger than Super Buu. But I think on a consistent basis, Super Buu is stronger. Angel, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is stronger. Hell, Vegito is definitely stronger than both Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu. I just think there's too many contra contradicting statements or contradicting moments in the actual canon that affects on those anime moments that... that how are you going to have Super Saiyan 3 Goku literally get beat down by boot tanks? Then in a couple minutes, Super Saiyan Goku was able to beat down like <laughs> Ultimate Gohan casually, but then yeah. then like literally get knocked out of Super Saiyan 3 against Kid Buu, get a power up, and then, you know, he he's still losing to Kid Buu. Like, it doesn't really work, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you overall. I just feel like if you really want to separate the cannons of the manga and the anime which i think you could do that with super and you could say yep. whatever you want about the, the the anime oh jiren is stronger than beerus that's fine because we haven't seen granola and moro in the anime if you want to say ui goku stands above all the fusions all the gods of destruction he can't be touched by anyone sure that works for the anime but with z the anime and the manga really do go hand in hand so but just to give it to you if you really want to separate them Sure, you can make some weird argument about Kid Buu, but at the same time, like what TJ is saying, no matter what the characters say, or the narrator, or Goku, or whatever, it does contradict the overall story, and logically, Buhan, who did have Kid Buu in him, yep. <laughs> let's not forget that, should still be stronger than Kid Buu by himself with all the characters and fusions taken out of him. So, I, I don't know, but... I will say, and TJ and I kind of pretty much answered this question earlier in the video, they really wanted to hype up Goku versus Kid Buu, and you can really see the different tone of writing once they get to the Supreme Kai planet. Yep. Once they get there, it's almost a complete 360. You have Vegeta saying, oh, this is a completely different league. How can these two be so strong, even though he saw Buhan and all of them? You have like... Kabito Kai, oh my gosh, the heavens are shaking. I've never seen a fight like this, even though he watched Gotings versus Boo. Literally just he saw Vegito. Boo versus Gohan, <laughs> saw Vegito. Like, it's it's a completely, like, I don't know, man. It's almost like a fever dream. Yeah, like, cause, <laughs> okay, like it's badass. It's badass. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely like one of the best dream. fights in Dragon Ball history, but, like, people, you know, they love to push a narrative. I'm like this Go Goku fan that always, like, bro, like, I. I, I'm telling you, people are glazing the hell out of this version of Goku. Like, hell, I still think Angel Goku fought Majin Buu is stronger than that Goku for obvious reasons. One, because he didn't have the stamina issues, whatever, whatever. But I can't even, I, like, I know you want to give people bail. I can't even give people bail with this whole anime versus manga differences because there's some stuff that works. But, like, in Super, there's two different continuities, but the manga bends into what the anime does. It just does. There's a reason why Goku's using Hakai when he didn't see Hakai in the manga. But he saw in the anime, like, it, there's different stuff that they have to follow through. But in the Dragon Ball Z's era, the manga is king, all right? There's some stuff that they can kind of, like, I like to argue that uh, future Gohan could have beat the future androids because the anime and how they did in the movie, and that's usually the main canon anyway because they like that so much better. But in the manga, yeah. Gohan was not winning that, right? But in this situation, like I've said it many times, yeah, they had their little deviations that are wild, but they still revert back to Goku saying that we need a fuse to beat Super Buu. 
they still revert back to like Goku needing the spirit bomb, all this stuff, and they still revert back to the fact that Vegeta was losing the Kid Buu despite him being able to beat Ultimate Gohan and Super Saiyan 3 Go takes, but Majin Buu is low key doing better than that Vegeta. <laughs> and yeah, and Majin Buu hasn't done nothing since being absorbed. So yeah, no, nah, it just doesn't work yeah. for me, man. Like, you can highball it, you can remix it. Hell, man, you can do a DJ Khaled, you can put him on the, on the soundtrack. But yeah, no, nah, it doesn't mm. work. Um, I think the, the main canon story is telling you that you can argue Kid Buu being more wild, it could probably beat Super Buu. You can argue that. But overall, Ultimate Gohan should be stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Goku in his alive body should not be stronger than his angel self. He literally states that it was easier in his angel state to be, be able to win that. And a lot of people like to argue that Majin Buu before losing Evil Buu was just as strong as Kid Buu. So that even adds more to my argument as well. So that's how I feel about it. Argue, complain, whine, <laughs> do all y'all got to do. But before y'all do all that, check out my merch store. I got some new UI stuff. I got a new Jedi Power Ranger. You know, I can't really put that on the store because Disney don't play. Mm -hmm. They remove your stuff quick. So you put Jedi anything. So check out Skywalker, Ranger, whatever. I had to remix it. Check it out. And shout out to my boy MJ. Check out his ma uh, many stuff he does. Very talented guy. And um, always I always appreciate him as a friend. Appreciate it, man. All right, y'all. Sun to y'all. Peace. Love you all.